What's up, everybody? For the one Itachi here, you know what it is. This is an amazing update. Now, for those of you that have known, in Pokemon Go, beta gameplay has started in Japan right away from the start. Uh, mainly in Asia, beta gameplay is going on. Um, even Australia's got ga beta gameplay for Pokemon Go. And so much leaked footage has been going around lately, and I'm going to start showing you bits and clips of the actual footage of the game. And we're going to be doing a live reaction on what's going on. This is my first time seeing these video clips. And I've been told these are the best video clips of the Pokemon Go gameplay. So let's go ahead and tune in at the same time together. And I just thought that was the best way to go about it. Because, I mean, if I see it twice, I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to be rambling about it. And I might skip things. So I might skip things here, but you never know. You never know how it's going to roll. So let's get to it. So starting off with the loading screen of the game, you got Gyarados with a little exclamation mark. You got Welcome to Pokemon Go. Pokemon makes home in many different places. I hope you'll f help this guy to research. You get to choose between a male and a female. You get to customize deep into details. I guess this guy's going with a male, probably a male, an IRL. Uh, so this guy, you get to customize your face, your hair, your eye color, your cap. You get to customize your clothing, which is your shirts, your pants. You got backpacks, unique backpacks. Oh my gosh. The, oh, dude. Oh, I am loving the customization. is unbelievable. The customized backpack. Oh, dude, this is next level. I mean, they can go on and on about this, but yeah, this guy's set. He's good to go. Um, what should the other trainers call you? Just like a normal Pokemon game. You just start off, customize your character in this one. And yeah, it's basically Google Maps. You get to look at your, uh, your name. This is like a menu here. You get your walk, how, how long have you walked, Pokedex, how many Pokemon you got. You have to check out your Pokedex and what type of Pokemon you've got. This guy seems to have a Bulbasaur already. Um, actually, no, he does not have any Pokemon. Okay, so it's just in his Pokedex that number one is a Bulbasaur. All right, so he doesn't got any Pokemon, but he's got 20 Pokeballs right from the start. So that's cool. Shows his level on the bottom left. Um, basically, oh, okay, you could gym battles. I talked to you guys about this before in the latest Pokemon Go episode. There's going to be different people that control gyms. There's join. There's blue, red, and yellow. And if there's no one there yet at that gym, I guess you get to control it right away, which is what this guy's about to do. Um, so he's basically going to control this gym right from the start. And yeah, that's just what it looks. Basically, Google Maps. It's basically a Google Map type gameplay. So he's got a level 87 Geodude taking control of this gym. Not sure how he got a level 87 Geodude. Um, you get to look at items that are in the world. Giant Rock Stack. So just like you use Rock Smash in a regular game, uh, you get to see specific features and you'll be able to collect items from them. He was able to collect an egg, I believe. He does have an egg, which is really cool. So it looks like he has to walk one kilometer in order to hatch that egg. There's a Porygon in the wild, son. All right. So this is, we finally get to see footage of someone fighting, or trying to capture a Pokemon, I should say. And he just threw a Pokeball straight at him, and he's probably going to catch it right away. I doubt it. It's going to be, I, I doubt it's hard in beta. You just shot a man could catch things. Alright, so cool. This guy caught a Porygon. Wow, out of all the Pokemon to choose, it's a Porygon. He leveled to level 2. And now it's registered to his Pokedex, as you can see. So he's able to see all the information about him. HP, normal. Uh, the type of moves that he can use, how much it weighs, how long it takes to catch, all that stuff, walking distance. There's odd. Oh, a Vulpix. Oh, he's leveled up. Okay. So he gets five Great Balls from the level up. Um, there's a Vulpix. There's a Magnemite near him as well. So he can see a Vulpix at the location that he is walking in. And he missed on the first Pokeball, I'm assuming. Yes, he did miss on the first Pokeball. Uh, this guy's throwing is really bad. And on the third Pokeball, he was able to get Vulpix into the ball. Now let's see if it's a gotcha. It's red. It's red again. Red again. And it is starred up. So it's green. He got the wild, uh, the wild Vulpix. Oh my gosh. And you get the XP. So a new Pokemon, you get 500 XP. And for catching a Pokemon, you get 100. So 600 total for this guy. And yeah, now Vulpix is registered into his Pokedex. So this is a game where you're just going to start catching tons and tons of Pokemon. And evolution shards are items that you'll be able to get in the wild, and you'll eventually be able to evolve your Pokemon with evolution shards. 
and it depends on how many uh, of that species that you have that you'll be able to get evolution shards as well in order to evolve your Pokemon. And wow, all right, so this guy's caught three Pokemon in like a couple of seconds. Again, 600 XP, 100 for the capture, 500 for a brand new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. And he got a Magnemite. Uh, it's electric steel type, and it also shows you weights and all that kilometers uh, for distance of walking. And what is this? A library that is local to him. So being able to go into a local library, it looks like he got a Max Revive that I just saw and a couple Pokeballs. So just adventuring out into the wild, you get different Pokeballs. So he's at Ocean Grove Park. He's got those three Pokemon that he captured as well as this Geodude that he has in a gym. And he's going to be able to fight. Now, in this gym, there was a Geodude, so it wasn't his, so there was a Geodude in the gym, now he's able to fight for, cap uh, he's basi basically fighting for gym control, and this Magnemite is taking a, uh, control against this Geodude, and Magnemite ended up fainting. Um, so yeah, he tried against the Geodude, and I believe he's going to try it again, so it's not, so the Geodude was not his. Um, the Magnemite has fainted, and it, does he get to fight the Geodude right away? I'm assuming he does, without any worries. Hopefully he does. I'd like to see him take, how taking control of a gym would work. Because I believe... Oh! Damn! Okay, wild me out. So he's trying to capture something else in order to get this Geodude up and running and cooking. So he's going to try to capture this wild me out, and... Of course, he's able to capture a wild meow. All right, so he's got five new Pokemon, so you get achievements as well, adventuring through the world. So that's really cool. You got a great ball and a Pokeball from going to this little park. I'm assuming it's a park. Looks like a park to me. Now, Dracatheon is his name. So when he goes, to, he leveled up. To, so he gets Ultra Balls now. So when you level up, you get prizes as well, which is really cool. Now he sees another. Oh wow, he got Ultra Balls. He got another egg. So that's awesome. Uh, that looks like a mission, but don't ask me what that building was. That looks like a California mission. So he's got a couple of eggs. Now, point ninety three. Oh, here it goes. We get to see he's walked a kilometer. And what's the first Pokemon he's going to get from an egg? It is a goddamn Poliwag. That is really cool. So you get 700 XP for getting a Poliwag as well. So that is just... That's phenomenal. I mean, this game is basically all about catching. First glitch encounter. Menu won't code. All right, so that's a glitch of the game itself. So ignore that. So basically he's restarting the game, getting back in there. So we've seen him catch multiples and multiples of Pokemon. We've seen him collect items from adventuring into specific parts of the world. We've also seen him... He's going to catch an Eevee now. We've also seen him adventure into a gym. Now, not that much in beta has been released about the gym battles yet. And they're going to be starting releasing more on that pretty soon. But basically gym battles are there's specific teams that control the gym. And you have to fight for control of that gym. It's not like you're going to get a gym badge and continue on for the Elite Four. Gyms are basically like bases. And you work with a couple of other people to take con uh, to own control of that gym. And you leave a Pokemon there in order to fight and secure the gym for you. Now you got another egg. Oh, Pikachu came out of that second egg. That is really cool. 700 XP this time from the hatch. And yeah, that is it's, it's, it's awesome. We're seeing so much build and grow from just this little amount of gameplay. Now, it is illegal for this guy to do this, but some people are cool enough to... I told you it was a Max Revive. Alright, so he's basically caught 11 Pokemon, he's seen 11 different Pokemon, and he has them all. So, that's really cool. He's showing us the Pokedex now, and so far it's just Gen Generation 1 Pokemon. I'm not sure if Gen 2 Plus are in this game yet and we will be uh, there is some gen 2 pokemon in this game i'll tell you that right now but it's mainly gen 1 as you can see he's about to capture uh ekans so there's many pokemon that are right next to where he lives so it does look like it makes sense and i'm assuming you're going to catch water pokemon in water like it has said before but um yeah that's pretty much it i just want to say thank you very much for tuning in let me know what you think about this gameplay footage um not much else has been said and it is still beta, but other than that, thank you very much for tuning in for the Winitachi is out.